welcome to my channel Art Saga and to the new tutorial video Modify Tools. For those who are new to this channel, please like and subscribe the channel and please check the previous video. It will help you understand this video better. So guys, let's start. Is a very important tool in Revit and which can be used everywhere. So you can find modify tab in about this section. You can find it here at the last command. So I'll just click it and you can see clipboard, geometry, modify, view, measure and create. So we'll learn this today. So let's start with what is copy and paste. So copy and paste is a simple thing. You can copy any element and you can paste it anywhere. It can also be pasted from one Revit project to another Revit project. But be that the, the project should be open inside same Revit window and not other window. I'll explain it later. So let's go with this project only today. So I'll select this wall and you can see a copy command is activated in the modify section. So the copy command is activated. So, and if I deselect this wall, the copy command is deactivated. You can see it deactivated right now. So I'll again select this wall and you can see by selecting the walls, the windows are also selected because the windows are entitled to the wall. So let's say if I delete this wall, the windows are also deleted. I'll control Z it again and let's go to copy paste. So I uh, select this wall, go to modify section and copy this. So now I have to paste it somewhere. So I'll go for paste command, but I have a drop down arrow here. So by dropping it down, I have multiple options. Paste from clipboard, align to selected levels, align to current views, align to same place and align to pick levels. So let's start with paste to clipboard. So I'll paste it. So now you can see I can paste this wall anywhere I want inside the project. So I'll say I want this wall to be 5000 mm from this wall again. So I'll paste it. I'll click it here and paste it. And I have to finish it. After finishing it, I have the same wall with same properties 5000 mm away. Now I, I want this wall with same properties on another level. So I'll select this wall again. And now this wall is from the constraint of plinth level to the first floor level. We learned constraints in wall uh, tutorial. So let's paste it to another level right now. So I want it on first floor level. So I'll say copy and paste it to selected level, align to selected level option. After selecting this option, select level tab is open and you can see multiple levels here. Right now the project has only four levels. So let's consider I want to have this wall from first floor level to above level. So I'll select this level and say OK. Now this wall is pasted. So we have to see how it is. So let's go to this elevation. Click this elevation tag and right click and Go to elevation view so now you can see 3000 mm height is just same and identical as the below wall the plinth wall is pasted from first floor level 3000 mm high so this is aligned to selected levels i'll just delete this again select this wall and there are two more options so align to current view and align to the same place Basically, they are both the same. So if you copy this uh, wall and select these two options, the wall would be copied at the same place. And align to pick level is you can copy this wall anywhere on any height other than any level. So these are copy and paste command. So now let's go to what is match properties. In AutoCAD, there is a semi similar command match properties. So to, in order to do that, I'll just 
match property these two walls so first i will change this wall type to a 100 mm type from property section so i want this wall to have the property of this wall so this is 150 mm wall and this is a 100 mm wall so there are two options either i'll select the wall go to property section and drop down and select 150 mm brick wall so this would be just the same as this wall but there is another option called match properties so i will select this wall go to modify and you can see match properties so i can have this wall just like this wall so i will select ma ma is a shortcut for match properties first i will select another wall and after selecting it i will click on the wall which i want to change so i will select this wall so now this wall is also changed and it is 150 mm now so let's select it and you can see 150 mm but, but there is a catch here so let's see what is that so i'll just control z it and zoom it again so i'll zoom it so you can see this wall is increased on one side only it is increased on this side so the dimension of this side is diminished so I want it to be center to center from both sides. So it can grow here also and it can grow here also. So I'll just control Z it again. Select MA. Uh, sorry, I'll control Z it and select the wall. And say uh, the location line in property section to have wall center line. So now this wall is drawn from the center line of the wall. So I'll go MA. Select this wall and select this wall. Now see carefully this wall will grow on either side of the rows. After selecting it, half of the wall is in, uh, increased by this side and half is increased by this side. So I'll let's OK and escape it. So this wall is 150 mm brick wall. Now we'll explore what is an align command. So again, I'll go to modify and go to this modify section now. So this is very important now. So I will go to align command so a shortcut for align is al so let's say i want to align this element this table to this wall so first i'll select the wall where i want to align something so i'll zoom to this wall and you can see the face of wall is highlighted by blue color so i'll select this and i want to align this element here i'll select this face so I'll select this face and you can see the table is aligned to the wall similarly you can align anything anywhere using this command now let's say I want to move it so after selecting move command the shortcut for move is MV so I want to move this table around this place so I'll select move command and I can move it anywhere now can move it anywhere I want so I'll select again and I can move in any direction 360 uh, sorry 180 degrees anywhere in the plan so I want the uh, table to be in this room so I can paste it here you can also select two options here constraint and disjoint so in constraint you can only move the table in 90 degrees direction up and down and in disjoint you can uh, paste it anywhere so let's say I'll press MV and disjoin and again I can paste it in 180 degrees anywhere now let's go to offset so the shortcut command for offset is OF use of this command is you can offset any any element from a distance to an another distance so let's say I want to offset this wall 1000 mm to this side I can also move it or copy it but I want to have this wall also and have another wall here so I'll select offset I'll say the value I want so it is 1000 mm select the, the wall which I want to offset and I'll select this and you can see a blue dotted line here so I'll say ok so the offset is done so while offsetting the door was also entitled to this wall so this door is also copied so offset here 
if I want to offset on this side, I'll offset it here. But now it is overlapping it. So make sure it does not overlap uh, on one another. So this is offset command. Now if I want to copy something. So in order to copy, first you need to select the element. So I'll copy this element uh, at any position I want. So I select this element and say copy. So the shortcut for copy is CO. So I selected it. Now you can see a dotted line is highlighted uh, at, at the object. And now you can select any points. Uh, snap points are highlighted. So I can select it and copy it anywhere. So this element is copied. Again you can select two options. Constraint and disjoin here. I will just select it again. And you can see constraint and disjoint. So right now just you can see constraint. And you can see multiple. So I don't have to press command many times. So I'll say copy 2200 mm. I'll say again and I'll say again. So if I escape two times, I will be out of the command. So now I am out of the command. Now let's see what is mirror from pick axis and mirror from draw axis. So what is the difference between these two? So pick axis is you have to pick any given axis and you can mirror the element. So I'll say I have picked this element and this is my axis. I want this same table on this side exactly the same dimensions. So I'll pick this axis and see the element is mirrored here. Now I'll say I want to mirror this with my own axis so I can draw my axis. So I'll say I want to draw it here. I draw this axis, drag the mouse from left to right or right to left and select and sorry click. So you can see the axis I drawn the table is mirrored from that axis to the other side. Now let's see what is rotate. So in order to rotate something you need to select the element. After selecting the element go to modify and go to this command. The shortcut for rotate is RO. So you can see the element is selected but the center point of the element is selected. After selecting it you can rotate it anywhere. So you have to just drag your mouse anywhere you want to have. So let's select. Uh, I'll say I want to just rotate is 90 degrees. So I'll just uh, click here and I'll just drag the mouse again and check for 90 degrees. So this is 90 again and click again. So the element is rotated on 90 degrees. If I want to have it on 45 degrees, so I'll just rotate it again, RO. Select a base point first and I'll again select 45 degrees. You can also tap, type it in the angle bar. So you can type the angle here. So let's say 45. So it is mirrored, uh, sorry, it is rotated in 45 degrees. Again, I want a 57 degree rotation. So I'll select RO. And I'll say 57 degrees. So it is rotated to 57 degrees. So I'll just delete it. Uh, oops. Okay. So I'll keep it. So now let's learn what is a trim command. So in order to learn trim command, I'll just untrim this walls. So if you want to have these walls to be joined, you can select the trim command. The shortcut for it is TR and select these two walls and the walls are joined now. So you can select any two walls to trim it. You can also, uh, okay, these two commands, trim single element and tr trim multiple element. So if, if I have many walls now, so I'll draw some walls, I'll say 150 mm walls, one, two, three. I want to trim this wall to these, this wall. So if I trim it now, this wall would be trimmed and this will be an open area. So you can see some gaps here. So I don't want like that. So if I want to extend this wall to this wall, I'm going to delete it. I want to extend this wall to this wall. So I can select this command. 
so after selecting this select the wall till where you want to extend the wall so I'll select this wall and I want to trim this wall into here so extend this wall till here so I'll select this wall so this wall is extended now if I want to select multiple walls at single time so there's a another command trim multiple walls so again select this wall and one and two so these two walls are directly trimmed so explore this options as per your need now let's say if I want to split an element so I'll just select split element the shortcut is SL so if I want to split elements into two so I'll select this I'll just click it on any surface and these two elements are split in two different elements uh, sorry a single element is split in two different elements so I can change this wall properties as much uh, how I want and it would not affect this element this can be used that time there's an another option split with gap so let's explore what is that so you can split any wall into a gap uh, split gap so I can edit the wall gap here let's say I want 100 mm between this uh, split so I'll select it and you can see a 100 mm gap between these two walls so basically both the commands are uh, same uh, you can explore it again now let's explore what is pin command so if you think this plan is ready and you don't want to touch it or if you feel you can accidentally delete some element while working on project so there is a command called pin so I'll select this wall and I want to pin this wall so you can go to modify section and find pin here so the shortcut for pin is pn after selecting this the wall is pinned now so if even I want to delete it the object will not delete because it is pinned you can also unpin this element by selecting this point so the element is unpinned now and I can delete it so this uh, can be used when you work on a project and there are certain things that you can pin them there's a, another command in modify section which is measure we have already discussed this during the dimension class you can also find these dimensions in annotate so you can find the same commands here so you can find same commands in modify section also so let's go to the last thing we are going to learn today which is create groups so now if you are working on a very big project and there are multiple rooms with same element you will not draw it multiple times you can just make groups and copy it multiple times so let's say I have this wall pattern on another floor as well so I'll select this wall and this wall with windows so I have this wall pattern on an upper floor as well so I just want I will not just uh, every time select by uh, select each and every element there is an option for that so let's group it so let's say uh, this is room 1 and now this is my group so I, I'll just select it and uh, let's say copy and I can paste it to any level I want so I'll select to first floor level so this group is again pasted to the first floor level so you can check the 3d so I can see the whole group is just pasted from one level to another so by creating groups you can copy uh, an element and save your time so guys today we learned how to use modify command please subscribe and like my channel and please let me know if you want to learn anything specific in the comment section thank you